What's the deal, you guys? Zach's Exotic Ed here coming at you guys. But of course, as you can tell by the caption, the catch and cook, uh, I'm here afterwards, after everything's said and done, uh, creating this here intro. Uh, I want to add in, you guys, that this is going to be, like I said, uh, on the uh, actual Flounder Run video, this is going to be a one of two part series of the catch and cook. Uh, currently, I'm coming at you guys with the fry version of the Flounder, and then uh, probably the next day or so, we'll do the bake. And uh, that's just to be able to create more content, you guys. If you guys like videos like this, man, leave a thumbs up. If you haven't joined the Exotic Ed fam, please do so now. Turn that post notification bell on. And you guys enjoy the video, man, for sure. He's eating. This boy ain't gonna bend like that, He's a little baby. On the live mother. If you get up in here, you're gonna get in the bones. If you get on this side, this is the belly. I don't want to disturb none of that. Just like I showed you on the redfish. Right. That's that's a spine right there. See that line? I just follow back that line and it's wide. That's how that meat feels. That's a sweet meat. See that? that, that that's all bones down there. I don't want to touch that. Fold him down like that. You just take and you just hug the surface like that. No bone. No meat. How pretty white that meat is, you guys. And so the key to, to laying back in my, my uncle was kind of telling gracefully that uh, you're going to get four fillets on each side. And uh, it's very critical to stay away from that bone because you're a flat fish, man. That, that bone is crushed against the, the, uh, the meat, you guys. So. This is a lot thicker. So belly. On this side, I don't want to disturb that. If you put the light, you can see that line. That same line you see on the other side, it's on here too. But if you go up in here, there's bone. You don't want to touch that bone. You want that in the kids choking on there. Now, it's good meat. All the dirty, got bone right there. low intestine. He got a little bone on the fillet. I'll get that out, no problem. All right, you guys had to get away from that wind a little bit. Uh, we're gonna show you a little bit of B-roll, not necessarily B-roll, but you know, little shots of uh, the rest of it. But he's got two, four, six. He's got five more other ones to knock out. So, and then including mine, one of mine, uh, I'm gonna go ahead. Two of mine, actually, I'm gonna go ahead fillet. One of them, I'm gonna cut the head off. 
Stick on ice until probably about mm, brunch tomorrow and do him up real nice stuff. Go give me some booty and stuff and this stuff I'm nice, man. And uh, then I'm going to go ahead and fillet this other one up and put it to the rest of the meal we got going on. So you guys stay tuned for this here catch and cook. So uh, just to give you guys a little feeling, how do we get those extra fish in there? Uh, so whenever my uncle was out there, he had already, uh, you know, the captain had already hooked up with his limit. So that was the two we had. This is one of the, uh, the two that we don't, that he donated for sure. And uh, he's the biggest one, man. He's a decent chunk, man, for sure. And for you guys who really enjoy the eating purpose, you, you culinary people. Yeah, I man, he does an awesome fillet job, even with an electric knife, man. What a 19-inch flounder, Texas flounder, do for you guys, man. Check it out. Pretty fillet. Alrighty, you guys, so we are back in my kitchen, man. What an awesome freaking day on the water, man. Um, i like to point out that uh, you guys paid attention there, man. Me and the captain actually hooked up with only one fish. Uh, when actually, I didn't hook up with any fish with artificial. Uh, just the captain, he hooked up with one on artificial. My uncle was who had the majority of the luck, man, on that live bait. That live mullet had it on the bottom. So just a little quick tip for you guys to, who are looking to get out there and get out the flounder, man, on what really worked in this general area. Um, had an awesome time out, you guys. So. We're back in the kitchen. You guys haven't seen this kitchen since probably, I don't know, end of summer. Stingray maybe was my last catch and cook. So um, this is going to be one of two parts. I'm just going to show you a little bit of how I'm doing right here. Uh, on the sauce, man, we, we make do what we got. We're using Fritos and a couple of crackers for our breading. Take a look at our seasonings. And uh, yeah, so we're just going to go ahead and fry up our four fillets. Check it out right here, you guys. Check out those fillets right there. That's off one 15 inch flounder, you guys, that I hauled in. Uh, and I, like I said, um, I didn't have any luck at all on the or in or around the inlet um, fishing with that artificial, man. I got back to the uh, to the dock, man. I jumped off and just jigged around my pole with a little bit of artificial on uh, some egg weights, some ounce egg weights. And yeah, man, I got hooked up on two keeper flounder. So that's our fillets right there. We're gonna go ahead and get our seasoning, get it all seasoned up, get a little egg wash. We got our oil heating up, our grease heating up. So uh, yeah, that's what that is, you guys. So we'll get back to you when we get frying. All right, we got, so we got our hot grease working. So it's gonna go egg bath. Oh, and we got seasoned up too, everything. Uh, garlic salt, onion powder. Anybody who's anybody from the north or south, northerners mainly use that Old Bay for their seafood. Southerners love using the Tony Sassarais Creole for pretty much everything, you guys. So that's the main base of seasoning. We got our egg wash, a little bit of milk, salt and pepper, breadcrumbs, aka crackers, and free toast. Check what I do with this, you guys. Look at that golden, golden brownness. Let's get a focus. Oh, that looks good. And uh, since I'm running out of crumbs, you guys, I think I'm going to go ahead and uh, flour it. Because that doesn't look too appetizing. But uh, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and flour the rest of these uh, fillets, you guys. So typically, I only throw my freshwater fish in a uh, flour. But like I said, we're. We didn't have real breadcrumbs to begin with, and uh, this doesn't look too appetizing. I'm pretty sure it's gonna be really good, but um, this one specifically, now these look awesome with that. It looks like I used Fruity Pebbles. It was just uh, tortilla chips that I crunched up. Definitely perfectly edible. So we're gonna do the last of them in this flour. I typically only do my freshwater fish and flour but I uh, couldn't find any um, breadcrumbs, any uh, cornstarch or any, I think that is cornstarch, uh, the yellow stuff, or the, the typical catfish fry. And uh, of course, me being outside the box, I deviate from what's normal anyway. I don't like eating cornstarch fish all the time, especially being at you know, every restaurant 
that's how they fry their fish. So um, we're gonna dip them around in this flour. He just came out his egg bath. So these are gonna fry a little different, but um, I guarantee it's gonna be with TFC. All right, you guys, so like I said, this is a one of two part uh, Catch and Cook video series. Um, it's all gonna be on the same video, of course. But now we're gonna head into the uh, the stuffed flounder tomorrow. So we'll get at you with that tomorrow. But right now, so I show this to show um, no matter where you are, where you're from, everybody, everybody's grandmother, everybody's auntie, whoever has their own method of how they fry uh, any food, chicken, whatever. And uh, me personally, I love doing chips uh, for my fry. I don't really care for the cornstarch so much. Uh, it's just, it's typical for fish for me. It, it gets bland after a while. Every restaurant you go to pretty much cooks on the same way. So that's why we have three different variants. Um, like I said, the first one was the Fritos, the chips. This one was tortilla chips. It doesn't look that appetizing, but So crispy, the crumb fell. It doesn't look appetizing, but boy, this tortilla chip one actually has the best, most subtle crunch. Let me go ahead and break into that for you guys. And look at that meat. Super flaky. This is awesome, you guys. Boneless. So, um,. That's gonna wrap this video up, you guys. If you haven't joined the Exotic FM, go ahead and join and subscribe now. Go ahead and um, hit that thumbs up button for sure, man. If you wanna see more Captain Cooks, you wanna see more fishing vids, just join the family, you guys. Um, leave a heart, man. Love you guys. I'm out. This isn't a food review show, but Dude, no bones, man. Oh my gosh. It's going down in my mouth. One fish, four fillets. Only thing that would set this off more was bacon. And bacon bits. But. I appreciate that fish for giving all those fish. All those other ones. My uncle just, um, that he kept, you know, because he kept the other ones from the captain also. Um, all those other ones, he's throwing them in the freezer for my little cousin. They catch flounder too. They got a couple of flounder. Um, my little, my his son, my little cousin, his older son, they got their lemon too. And you get a, I forgot how much it is per season, but um, two per day. And um, yeah, he's just throwing them all, getting ready for a fish fry when their birthdays come up and enjoy good stuff like this. Fried, fried flatfish, man. I love it, man. Southeast Texas, baby.